a strong fight Waking my people up, it's gonna be a long night Because they whole life, my people been lied to They gave you false religion just to try to blind you Now we, now we, now we, now we They got us riding on them shits and we singing like Now we, now we, now we, now we We getting slayed in America Hey, shalom to y'all, most high Christ bless Happy Sabbath Another day that the Lord has made Let's do some Q&A here before we tune in uh, got some questions that I didn't get to answer last week. So we'll answer them here now. I'll get through as many as I possibly can. Uh, so the first question up here that uh, I like here says, uh, watching IUIC in the classroom, I learned that it's not important to use Hebrew names for God, the Most High, or Christ Jesus, or Jesus Christ. Uh, please, leadership, I just need to know why we have to change our names. Good question. Good question. Uh, so let's start out here, give you the understanding on that thing. Because there's a reason. There's a reason for everything. And guess what? The Bible got answers for everything. Uh, first off, let's start out. Okay, we'll bring it out too. Let's, uh, let's uh, start out with Zephaniah 3 and 8. Uh, why the bishops. Uh, came to that understanding, the Most High revealed that to them about the name doctrine that was that's pushed by so many other Israelite camps, which haven't quite came to the full understanding scope of the main goal for all Israel. Read that Zephaniah 3, and I'll start at verse 8. Who's reading? For I got you, officer. Okay. Okay. Officer Drew. All right. Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Switch his mic out. Windows stack. Check, check, check. Yeah. The book of Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 8. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord. So the first thing off is, wait ye upon me, says the Lord. Be patient. He's going to tell you why. Until the day that I rise up to the prey, for my determination is... To gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. The well, reason I say wait ye upon him because we officers of just leadership in general, the soldiers, I've been trying to get them to watch more documentaries where you can actually glean from history that you didn't get to live through, but you'll be able to, once the Lord pour wisdom on them, you can extrapolate from that and put that into your teachings and bring it out to your people. So we've been watching documentaries. When we watched uh, watch Black Panther, the Vanguard, uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, that, that, it was this week, right? This week we watched, Friday, we watched, or um, well, Thursday. It was Thursday, we watched um, Bloods and Crips Made in America on uh, Netflix. It's, it's old. I think I've seen it on regular TV before, but we watched it on Netflix. If you haven't watched that, watch it. It tells you how they came about, the reason why, where the anger was picked up at, all of that stuff. And the Spirit's working with you, scriptures will be flying off of your mind. Just let you know, when it comes to those gangs, those blood scripts, those Zopam, those uh, MS-13, MS La Familia, all of that, they really just waiting on you. They don't want to do what they are doing but they don't have no else to turn because ain't nobody gave them a true solution to get up out of what they're doing. Watch it and you'll learn that they wait on you to come. So, but we we watch those because our people try to take it upon themselves to solve their problems, they was going, the oppression that we're going through. God says, wait ye upon me. It ain't for us to take up arms. It ain't gonna work, not at all. I found out today Esau got an electromagnetic gun. It don't use no bullets like powder, residue, no none of that stuff. It is an electromagnetic projectile that flies at Mach 7. Meaning that no dodging. No dodging it, meaning that it's fast, it's seven times faster than the sound, than the speed of light, speed of sound. It's seven times faster than the speed of sound. So it's shot boom, before you blink, it'll hit you. And it's not little. So let me show you how big the bullet is. Sure. Ooh. A bullet? 
that's how big the bullet is. And it only costs $25,000 to make instead of a million dollars like the other ones. But it's seven times faster than speed of sound. It ain't nothing that you can do. He pressed that electric button and that electric gun go off. You, you would disintegrate into nothing. <laughs> Who ever seen uh, the watcher? When the blue guy destroyed the dude and right. just a splat on the ground? That's what he do. Uh, Brother Dan, uh, uh, Amaziah. Exactly. Eraser. The the yeah, yeah. It's um. They showed it. It went through seven steel plates. Seven of them. steel plates and went right through them like that. So God said, "You better wait, but <laughs> you get your head blown off around here." Uh, to he assembles the kingdoms. To pour upon them. Read that. To gather the nations that I may assemble the kingdoms. To pour upon them my indignation, mm -hmm. even all my fierce anger. For all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. Read on. For then, for then will I return the, to the people a pure language. So that's why he said, wait, going into name, talking about why he don't, he, he put so much focus on uh, a name some other people do. Most I tell you, then, after the destruction, I'm going to give you the pure language that you think you got when you call my name. Read on. That, that they may call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. And that's why the bishops can't get his understanding. Like, Most high don't care what you call because it ain't right anyway. You ain't speaking what Moses spoke. <laughs> you ain't speaking what David spoke. Jeremiah and him. You got a corrupted, vain imagination form of Hebrew when you think you call it Yahweh Shai Bashin, Yahweh Shai, Barakatha. Barakatha means I love you. I think Barakatha means I love you. Something like that. I forgot what it means. But that's what, it that's what they came to that. So go Psalms 138 2. I'm just giving you that point why they teach that first. Then we'll get to. Us. Psalms 138:2, the book of the book of Psalms, chapter 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness. Let's fix his mic. His mic is muffled. Uh, read that again. The book of Psalms, chapter 138, verse 2. I will worship toward thy holy temple and praise thy name. For thy loving kindness uh -huh. and for thy truth. For thou hast magnified thy word above all thy name. That's why. He, well, he don't care what you call him. Because we was calling him by his original name when we came out of Egypt. And we was wicked. We, we didn't do none of his word that he was telling us to do. We was rebellious. That's why I told Mo Moses, move. That I may consume all of him. And we knew his name straight up when we came out. His word matters most. Now, in talking about Christ, give me that in Luke 6 and 46. About Christ. Because you got something to be like, you got to gotta call on the name of the Lord. You got to be Yahweh Christianity. You got to call on Jesus' name to be saved. <laughs> so, the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 46. And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? It goes back to what we just read about Psalms 138 2. The Most High said, my word is more important than my name. Christ comes back saying the same thing. Why call you me, Lord, Lord, you have a shot, you have a shot, but you don't do nothing I say. When it comes to the Most High, what's most important is our actions. Christ already told you what to call him anyway in Matthew 6. He said, I what, brothers? Nobody knows the Lord's Prayer. Does anybody know the Lord's Prayer? I hope you say it. Our Father. Well, I don't need the whole thing. I'm talking about name. Y'all stay with me. Come on now. Stay with me, y'all. We don't name. Our Father. He told you what to call him anyway. So when it comes to putting so much emphasis on the Most High's name, the Christ's name, you better do what they say. Right. Give me uh, Isaiah 66 now. 15. We're going into our name. The book of Isaiah chapter 65, verse 15. Uh -huh. 
and ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. So instead of having the name that God gave us as a people, we left it for a curse. Read on. For the Lord God shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. That other name, we always know that it's talking about African-American, Haitian, Dominican, Puerto Rican, El Salvadorian. That other name you're being called by also too is, uh, what is that? Baptiste? Johnson. 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 Gonzalez. Them is other names that God never called you. He never called you that stuff. You've left the name he gave you to take on oppressors names. Go to Isaiah 44 and 1. The book of Isaiah chapter 44 and verse 1. So we answer, why do we need to change our names? That's one reason right there. The name you get on you now is a curse. You know, Isaiah 44 verse 1. Yet now here, O Jacob my servant and Israel, whom I have chosen, Thus saith the Lord that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob, my servant, and thou Jeshurun, whom I have chosen. Jeshurun is another name for Israel. It's our nickname God calls us. We don't. For I will pour water upon him that is thirsty. What's the water that God has poured upon us that is thirsty? The brother know. What's the water? Uh, Mordecai. The word, of the, Bible. the word of God, right? Ephesians 5 26. That's what he poured upon us. He was thirsty. Thirsty for what? Like Christ said, righteousness. Was it in uh, Matthew 5, right? He that is thirsty for righteousness shall be filled. He was thirsty for the ways of God. He poured his word on you. Read on. And floods upon the dry ground. Uh -huh. I will pour my spirit upon thy seed and my blessing upon thine offspring. Mm -hmm. And they shall spring up as among the grass, as willows by the water courses. That means they're going to start waking up. They're going to start waking up, popping up all over the place. Go ahead. Verse 5. One shall say, I am the Lord's. And another shall call himself by the name of Jacob. So once that water, that spirit got poured on you, God said, this is why he's talking about why we got to change. He said, one is going to start doing this. Once they wake up to who they are, start popping up all over the place, this is what comes next. Read on. And another shall subscribe with his hand unto the Lord uh -huh. and surname himself by the name of Israel. So you're asking about why we change it. That's a part of the repentance process. Once you wake up, you start returning back to the things that was written aforetime, back to your customs, your ways. And start putting off the things of the curse that we under. And when Christ come back, he'll fully take us up out of his curse. But right now, we start rehearsing the righteous acts. Waiting on the Lord to get here and give us that true name. Go to Baruch 2. And I want to read, uh, I think it's verse 28. Baruch 2, 28. Let's read that real quick. The book of Baruch. That's in the Apocrypha for y'all new brothers and sisters here. Baruch 2, and we're going to start at verse 28. Baruch chapter 2, verse 28. As thou spakest by thy servant Moses, in the day when thou didst command him to write thy law before the children of Israel, saying, mm -hmm. If you will not hear my voice, surely, is, surely this great multitude shall be turned into a small number among the nations, uh -huh. where I will scatter them. You know. For I will, for I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. They're gonna start doing what? They shall remember themselves. They're gonna start remembering what I used to call them. Call them Israel. And I wanted to know now the names you got now. Like I said, that's why I read Zephaniah first. It's not really Hebrew at all. It's an English form of Hebrew. Nobody over there when we was in our own land called themselves Zakar. 
with an English Z and an English A, English K, A, R. Nobody did that at all. But they wouldn't have known what the hell I was talking about. But what I'm doing is rehearsing the righteous acts of my forefathers. Where I know who I am, so I'm going to name myself to get as close to that thing as I can. And even if you want to go to the next level, name yourself, um, uh, uh, No, that's it. That's a heathen. <laughs> you are one of them, uh, uh, somebody give me a, not a, not a, it's not crazy, but an ultra Hebrew name. Give me an ultra Hebrew name. Yo, wanna thought of ya, 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 it's hard to say. Even if you do that, that ain't true Hebrew anyway, either. You don't even know if you're saying it right. Just like um, I asked one dude who wanted to, he was talking about something with hallelujah. I said, is language learned or is it known? What do y'all think, brother? Is language learned or is it known? It's learned, right? So in order for you to learn the original language, you would have to learn it from somebody that lived during that time. Where are those people at on the earth now? They're in the ground. Return to the Lord. They on the other side of the earth speaking English. So there's no way you can actually know the true language at all unless you were speaking to David right here. That whole I know Hebrew is just vain imaginations to make us think we deeper than the next person. But God said in the land of their captivity, they're going to remember themselves and start to call themselves after who I call them in the language that they speak. Go to uh, John 3 and 3. Because this is what is happening. When you do that, John 3 and 3. This is what is happening when we start changing it. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. Uh -huh. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of heaven. So when you start to call yourself by the name, the form of that name, whatever language it is that God gave you, you're in the process of being born again. I don't want you to think that you know, you can go your whole life here and call yourself uh, Alex <laughs> and say, yeah, I know I'm Israel. What's your name? Alex. Really? <laughs> My name is uh, uh, what's some Julio Martinez. I know I'm Israel. Man, Julio? You still call yourself Julio? You ain't truly repented at all. You ain't truly repentant. You look righteous on the outside. You ain't really. Your mind is still seared. You still refer to somebody in this truth as they first name. You ain't truly repentant. That's right. Let you know say, that. Say that again, please. You call somebody like that, and they got a Hebrew name, and you call them by their slave name. You better check your spirit. Read that again, John three and three. The book of John, chapter 3, verse 3. So that's for you sisters. Oh, when he come to the Sabbath, oh, he's uh, he's Zakiah at the Sabbath. I use myself, for example. So, And then you get home, he's uh, James. <laughs> you, only, you don't call him nothing that got to do with him being changed or being born again. You call him by the slave name you met him as when he was a nigga in the world. Check yourself. Read that again, verse 3. John chapter 3, verse 3. Uh -huh. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. So whether you do it legally or you just let everybody, put everybody on notice, this is who I am now. That's letting them know you done changed. Don't call me that because I'm, I'm not who you said. I, when I first changed my name, you always call me my slave name. That ain't my name. Some of y'all afraid to do that. I tell you, that's not my name. Don't call me that. Well, what is it? It's Zakar. We Israelites. I told my mom straight up. I told my daddy that. Straight up. 
Some of y'all gonna start, start standing up for the Lord. Quit being all scary. Afraid to tell your mama no. Don't call me that. All right, go to uh, Proverbs 22 and 1. This is why. Your dad, boy, I named you. I named you Johnny. I'm gonna call you Johnny. I brought you into this world. You didn't create me, daddy. God did. That's right. Proverbs 22 and 1. Proverbs chapter 22, verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. A what? A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches. That's why it's important to, to change. It's nothing good about, you know, the names that we call, that we've known in this captivity. There's nothing good about being called uh, Jamie. Damn, I can't even remember those. What's some, what's some names? I don't even think about that stuff. No Lucy. Way. Lucy. Israel ain't named Lucy. Lucy. Uh -huh. Israel. Roscoe. That's a name. Roscoe. <laughs> Roscoe. Bud. <laughs> that ain't nothing good about You know why it's nothing good? None of them have no meaning to it. None of them. Some of y'all get those names when you named after your mama and your daddy, and it's an ultra hood ass name. Oh, hey, hey, I met a brother at the job named Ja Hennessy. Wow. Ja Hennessy. Oh, fine. <laughs> it's nothing good about your slave name at all. Yeah, so you Tobias. Somebody, somebody told me that uh, they met a person named Absidy. Absidy? Absidy, you spell it A B C D. Oh, <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, that's my That step. ain't true. <laughs> she must have been a high on horse, bro. A B C D. Absidy. Chocolate? Chocolate? A A run. A A run. That's a different thing. That good about them days at all. So to go around and hold like it's some kind of, my mama name is, I ain't getting my name changed for real. There's nothing good about it at all. Uh, Brother Liz. I had, a, uh, I had a call this week from uh, Puerto Rico, and they supposed to introduce themselves. They told me the person that they kicked was, uh, they was named Jew Lazy. Jew who? Jew Lazy. 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 Too lazy, man. I'm telling you. How many y'all somebody named uh, in school when you was in high school? Somebody, somebody around that had the, some sister had a name like Aqua something. Aqua who? Aqua Dundria. Goodness gracious. Lord will she repent. <laughs> Oh, can I put a scripture? Yeah, go ahead. Let me get uh, 2 Maccabees 6 and verse 1. It's, you know, I'm, I'm going to use Brother Jehaziah for, for uh, reference. That brother wanted to change his name legally. That's right. And that says a lot yep. to your enemies because our enemies did this. Watch this. Read verse 1. The book of 2 Maccabees chapter 6 verse 1. Uh -huh. Not long after this, the king sent an old man of Athens to compel the Jews to depart from the laws of uh -huh. their fathers. So it was a point in time where we were compelled not to keep God's law. Watch this, read. And not to live after the laws of God. Come on. And to pollute also the temple now in Jerusalem. This. Jump to verse 6. Verse 6. Neither was it lawful for a man to keep Sabbath days uh -huh. or ancient feasts uh -huh. or to profess. Even what does profess mean? Was it? Um, to claim, like, to claim yourself. To, you couldn't even claim your. You couldn't claim to be an uh, Israelite, a Jew. Read on. Or to profess himself at all to be a Jew. So if you couldn't be a Jew, you couldn't claim to be an uh, Israelite. Who were you claiming to be? Stand up. You had to change your name. You had to change your heritage. You had to change everything about you. You couldn't grow a beard no more. You couldn't rock your fringes. You couldn't keep the feast days. You couldn't call yourself by the name of Israel. Read on. 
Verse 7. And uh, it, jump down, jump down to verse 9. Verse 9. And whoso would not conform themselves to the manners of the Gentiles. To the manners of the heathens, read. Should be put to death. Read on. Then might a man have seen the present misery. Go to Deuteronomy 28. <laughs> That's why it's, it's very important. If you're able to do it, do it. Because your your enemies, when they see you change your name, then they take you serious. Just got um, word too from my brother in here that especially if you got a family, you can do the whole family for one price. Yep, one family, a whole family for us. So, Go ahead, oh, I'm the reason why it's important because our enemies changed our name for a reason, mm -hmm. so that we don't have no ties to who we really are. Yep. When we got over here, when the so-called blacks and, and, and Jamaicans and Haitians, when they got over here, they had to change their name. When the so-called Hispanics, when they was taken into captivity, what y'all think they had to do? They had to change their name. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. And thou shalt become as an astonishment, mm -hmm. a proverb, and a byword. And a byword. What is a byword, brothers? A lot of kids, what is a byword? Stand up. Anything outside, of anything outside of what God calls you. That means the names we have today ain't of God. And, and, and if it ain't of God, it's of the devil. That's right. All praises. Go ahead, Officer Judah, what you got? All right, this is uh, from Babylon, the Tim Book 2, uh, by Rudolf R. Windsor. So this is a historical book in which it references the black Jews, or the Israelites, basically. What would happen to them uh, if they lost their name or lost their culture, okay? Uh, this is page 123. It says, like the black Jews in America, some of the Jews of Guinea don't remember their original nationality. This deplorable ignorance is attributed to the ver to various causes. One, the fall of the Hebrew kingdoms. Two, the lack of communication with Jewish educational centers, mainly which is the Bible. And three, intense persecution and the deliberate blotting out of the mind of their true nationality. All right, it jumps down to says, in another example, the persecution of the black Jews in Portugal was so ruthless and frequent that Cecil Ross tells us the Jews did not divulge to their children the secret of their religion or their nationality, that is, until they had attained the age of region, reason. The Hebrew religion is such that if you deny your religion, you will eventually deny your nationality. Okay? That's it. That's it right there. And the nationality goes along with your name. Because when you don't have one, you call yourself anything. That's right. You not you don't find no East Indians named Thomas. <laughs> Ain't no Chinese people named uh, after no Irish man. They name is Fu what I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that is their name because they know their nationality. Hey. We are the only people that are Israelites, but we call ourselves. Jasper, Edwin, Kevin, Eddie, <laughs> Robert, Robert. Robert. Yeah. Robbie, yeah. Thaddeus. Hey, Bill. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what's crazy? When we read Psalms 83, right? It's saying that uh, they have said, come let us cut them off from being a nation. That part of cutting us off was changing our names. Because if they wanted to cut us off, our names had to have been important because they yep. changed it. Yep. They, they had to know who we was, that we was going to eventually come back, figure out, okay, what well, my name says Israel at the end. Right. Mm -hmm. What's going on? They had to change it in order to completely cut us off. Yep, exactly right. Uh, so go back and read Proverbs 22 and 1 again. The book of Proverbs, chapter 22, excuse me, verse 1. A good name is rather to be chosen than great riches, and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Now let me show you what a, a good name is. Go to Isaiah 43 and 1. Show these good names. Look, 43 and 1. 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 43, verse 1. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, that o, created you, read on, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. He called what? He, I have called thee by thy name. He never called you Robert. He never called you Thomas. He never called you Shanita. Whatever other names shall we be Break me. Mercedes is one A out there. That's good. That's Judah. Judah does that. Alizé. Yeah, that's Judah. Alizé. Lexus. Lexus names. Lexus, yeah. Hennessy. Barbara. Barbara. <laughs> Bridget. Bridget. I don't know. I don't know too many Jake. Bridget. Yeah. Leticia. 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 Bernie. What's the names? What's the name? Throw some names out there. This is the one about know their names. Keisha. Ah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Keisha's one. Yeah. What's the other ones? Shaniqua. Shaniqua. Shaquanda. Beverly. Yes. Shawanda. Whatever name you got that you ain't changed yet legally. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> and who all types of names? Yeah. Knowing that they didn't. They got the God didn't call you that. <laughs> he says, For I have redeemed you, I have called you, V means you, by thy name. Read the next part. Thou art mine. God don't know none of them the heathen names that we don't took on. In order to be his, you got to do what he said. You got to start what it say in Isaiah 45, 4 or 5. You got to surname yourself by the name of Israel. Start changing things. Be really reborn. Mm -hmm. Jump down to verse 7. Isaiah 43, verse 7. Even everyone that is called by my name. Called by what? By my name. That's our name. What did, how do you, in Hebrew that, that we know, Israel is called Yasha Allah. We have, it means the Prince of God. Our name is in God. So to hold on to slave master, you denounce your own God. Now I don't want to be called that. The Hebrew is Yasha Allah. Read that again, verse 7. Even everyone that is called by my name, uh -huh. for I have created him for my glory. He created us for what? For my glory. Uh -huh. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. I have made him. Go to Revelation now, 2.17. I'm going to show you something. What we doing, and like I said earlier, we just rehearsing the righteous righteous acts until this comes to pass. The book of Revelations, chapter 2, verse 17. Uh -huh. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will that, I that means your sins, read on. Will I give to eat the hidden of the hidden manna. Uh-huh. And will give him a white stone. And what's in it? And in the stone a new name written. It's a what? A new name written. Uh-huh. Which no man knoweth, saving he that receive it. So right now, like I said, we're just rehearsing the righteous acts. We just make it up names to try to identify ourselves that let everybody know we is I'm not what you think. I ain't that heathen name. I ain't Robert. I ain't Thomas. I ain't none of them names. I ain't Jerome. I ain't Jamal. No, I'm the Israelite. And you're going to know why I'm down here. But when I stand before Christ, he's going to give me my true name that I don't even know yet. Yeah, Brother Judah. So with the, with the other camp saying that we have to call it. The other camp saying that we have to call on the true name of the Lord. They don't even know their real. They're no, real they don't even know their real names. <laughs> they say they, they, they know the, the Lord's real name. You don't even know your real name. <laughs> it says, "Which no man knoweth, saving he that receiveth it." Matthew five fourteen. Now here, here is the truest, true that the last scripture here that you know. This is why. This is why he's changing names. Matthew 14. Matthew chapter 5. Verse 14. Uh -huh. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Israel is a city that cannot be hid. So for you can't be hid because when you start changing the way you dress, the way you talk, the way you walk, the way you treat each other, everybody's going to take notice. 
So why are you trying to have one foot in, one foot out, be lukewarm? You got the look of an Israelite, you talk like an Israelite, you keep the Sabbath day, but you got a nigga name. You can't be here. You might as well go all in. Change the name too. Because you ain't fooling nobody. You at work, your name Tasha, but you got fringes on the bottom of your dress. You ain't fooling them. They know you're an Israelite. They know that you really, you, that they might be able to term you because you ain't really changed your name yet. Oh yeah, that's Tasha. She's with that black Hebrew Israelite stuff. It's just a phase. Walk in there with a new name and see how they treat you. Hey, you know, it's, it's a level of faith too. Yeah, it's what it because is. Because you're going to face persecution when you do it. Yep. You're going to have your boss come against you. Um, there's something going on with you. Um, you're, you're, something going on with you. You changed your name. You know, you're just different. Uh, are you, is your, your wife family, here? Your family going to say, he done went crazy. Yeah, he right. done went crazy. She done went crazy. Ooh, calling Level herself faith. some name that I can't pronounce <laughs> with y'all in the end. Yeah, that's crazy, man. You gotta, you gotta, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Verse 14 again. Verse 14. Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. That's what we're supposed to do. Give light unto all that are in the house of Israel. Read on. Let your light so shine before men. Uh -huh. That ye may see your good work. Excuse me. That they may see your good works. And glorify your father which is in heaven. So what happens is that light that's shining is how you introduce yourself. Ain't nobody walking around here named Judah. Ain't nobody walking around named Elishua. Yeah, it's a car, Severus, Leon. It's, oh, damn, what kind of name is that? That's what they ask you. What kind of name is that? Mm -hmm. They never heard it. Oh, yeah. It's Hebrew. I'm Hebrew. I'm Israelite. What's your name? Jerome and Rome? Oh. <laughs> Let me give you this fly, brother. That ain't what God called you. <laughs> so that's what you're supposed to do. You can't be hid. So that's the importance of changing it because... Your light is supposed to shine to all those in the house that when they eventually repent, they'll start to glorify God. Thank you for sending me this truth through whatever that person was that handed me that flyer, that showed me that video. That's the importance of changing your name. All right, so does every, bro every brother understand that? Yes, all right, so start making them the things. Here in Florida, a whole family it's only $400, no matter how many kids you got. For real. You change everybody's name. That's the level of faith that some of y'all ain't came to yet. So y'all better get there. Take your taxes. You got kids, you got taxes. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.